Stand by. Oh, now it's recording. It's okay, Lynn, what you doing there? So, Mitch, you're going to teach me mm -hmm. how to build my rocket, and I'm here to take notes okay. with my pencil, because I hate pens. Uh huh. And I'm going to build this rocket by myself, and I'm going to launch it in Potter, New York, uh -huh. at the rocket launch, yeah. in order to get my level one certification, oh. so I'm off of level zero. Okay, you want to race that goose egg, right? <laughs> and just so everyone knows, you should not be able to sit down here. Mm -hmm. well, we have mastered. Let me zoom the back room. here. Show the uh, emptiness of the room. This is mostly for um, Kim and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Peta chewing on and her. There's the drinking buddy toy. She's got her drinking buddy shirt and on. She, yep. And she's got her toy and uh -huh. her paw. Yeah. And, and I got, got my finger. He has a bad paw. You see right there. <laughs> huh, Pete. And then has a bad finger. Let's check out her finger here. It's got almost invisible cast on it, but there it is. So what kind of rocket is this that you're building? Well, I think you need to tell me. Oh, I'm building a full-size 75 rocket. You are? Yeah. From, from Wild Man Hobbies? From Wild Man Hobbies, and it's one to two feet tall, and I have to um, <laughs> use a kit and a kit motor and a kit repellent because for your qualifications you cannot do experimental. Oh yeah, that's right. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so you can use a commercial motor. Commercial. Yeah. I said kit, yeah, okay. right. <laughs> okay, so you got a little collection of parts with no directions, huh? <laughs> Zero directions. So you, Thank you. So you're going to have to rely on a little help. Yes. Okay, so well. So good luck. Yeah, Say good, good luck. luck. Good luck and we should get started. Okay. All right. So day whatever of building my rocket because I took a hiatus for a while and today what I did was I installed the Aeropack quick change motor retainer Ooh. with a di two different kinds of epoxies okay. um, one stronger than the other and I'm still holding it down so I can't really move it too much and then unfortunately um, what we kind have of? the rocket epoxy here, uh -huh. which I think has gone bad, so yeah. we might have to go buy some more. We'll, we'll test it and see if it's so we'll good. We'll test it. And I don't know how you test it, but I guess we'll find out. But um, So what kind of uh, epoxy do you use on that uh, Aeropack motor retainer? Which part? Because I used... Well, I mean... What, what, oh, I used JB Weld. JB yes. Weld? JB oh. Weld. Is that what here. they recommend? I think yes. And then I also use Quick Cure. Uh-huh. Five minute. Five minute quick cure. And that's why I'm holding it, just to keep it in place okay. with my okay. motor sure. retainer. All right. So you're uh, ready to... Wait uh, for the next video. Put the... Uh... <laughs> no, no. Next video. Oh, and I already did this. I didn't show you guys this before. Oh, what you got there? This is what's going to attach my um, parachute to mm -hmm. my rocket. Mm -hmm. So that when it lands, it lands softly. Okay, so it's well mounted onto the yes the motor mount. And yes. Then, uh, Mitch is trying to take over my video. <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> Just mentioning a few things. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's it. So today, my goal was to put the fins on which you would think would be an easy task, but it's actually not, is we had to shave down part of the fins, or one of the fins, in order to um, match up with the telemetry. And then... <laughs> telemetry? Already? <laughs> and then... <laughs> All right. Keep going. That was Come on, laughter. One, one take. Come on, let's go. And then I had um, epoxy everywhere, because I... This time we had to use 15 minute epoxy, vice 30, or here's 15, see, 15, and you have to mix them properly. Oh, it's two parts, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, instead of the 5 minute, the 15, that's why we didn't show you me putting the fins on, because I need a little assistance, and we only had 15 minutes to get the, the fins on, so mm -hmm. hopefully this is going to work. And then you have to line it up, see? Oh, you got a little alignment jig there. Yeah, huh? alignment jig. Oh, okay. And so... <laughs> okay. Well, they look straight to me. So it's looking good. Um, next step, I think, will be putting the motor in. And... Mm -hmm. yeah, we're almost... Well, we need to finish the... Uh, 
fin fillets and all Well, that. I mean, the fin has to be, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, but we can't move them right now. They have to yeah. just sit there. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're going to fill this sucker and paint this sucker and <laughs> be done. All right. <laughs> green and red, or green and yellow. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a croc crocodile. Crocodile. This is tough, people. It's pretty thick stuff, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting it close, though. I think I'm going to throw this one away. Okay. And then keep mixing with this one. So we have the Rocket Epoxy High Strength Epoxy Part A Resin. And then the Part B Hardener. Okay, you mix them together to put on your fins. To put on the outside of my fins. Yeah, your fin fillets. Yes. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that glue came through. Yeah. Get a blow on it. Mm -hmm. Do both sides already? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I did them good enough. Yeah. Well, that's good. They don't need that much. Yeah, just some roughing up. Okay, now I gotta make my epoxy. Okay. But we're only gonna film to put on line when I actually put the fins on. Okay. This is just extra footage. Yeah. <laughs> Call it stock footage. We use a lot of painter's tape. Yeah, that's okay. In 15 minutes. 15 minutes? I need gloves. Definitely. Oh, I need my glasses on. I have the wrong glasses on. I got a reading glasses on. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why I moved my foot. Do you have editing ability? We're stirring our 15 minute epoxy. Mm -hmm. You have to mix two different ones mm -hmm. to put our last fins on because mm -hmm. I didn't get it done yesterday. Because mm -hmm. it takes, you know, time. And we have one issue with the, I'll show that to you in a second. We have an issue. Yeah. Um, with the peanut butter uh, epoxy. Yeah. Is that one hour epoxy? Okay. I think we're ready. Okay. So we're just going to go for it. All right. I was going to do this last night um, by myself mm -hmm. when Mitch was sleeping, but I got a little too nervous. I was like, ah, what if I screw it up? I might need assistance and I have to go wake his butt up. And then you wouldn't have a photographer either. And no photographer, yes. Mm, can't have that. Yes. But since I know what I'm doing now, he can actually film while I do this. I still might need assistance, but I think I'm good. And what do we call these things you're putting on? Fins. No, I mean the, the where we fill in between the fin and the airframe. Ah, oh, I forgot. <laughs> It's fill. We're gonna fill with it. it. We're gonna fill it with a fillet. <laughs> it's called a fillet. That should be a very simple thing to remember, yeah. but I didn't remember. <laughs> okay, so the reason I'm wearing gloves is this stuff is super, super um, sticky. Uh -huh. And then I have to let's do this side first. Run my finger down. Uh -huh. Plus, this can be a warning to others who may be watching this that you can develop a allergy to epoxy Correct. over the years, and uh, not something you want to do. So, best to not touch it if you can avoid it. Yes. So. Okay. Gloves are cheap. Yeah. Buy them. Um, there's right. that piece that came through, but that's okay. So and then gonna, we're going to have to take. You're going to glop the rest of it in there, like we did before. Yeah. Okay. Just glop some in there. 
let it spread out. <clears throat> yeah, you don't just, yeah, that's good. Just let it flow. Because we're going to put it up kind of high. But I do need to use my, um, I think that's enough. But we're going to have to put it up on this. Uh -huh. So it will. We're going to put it like this. That way? Yeah. So it's not high enough. Here, put that block of wood underneath that. Okay. I think that's what we did before. I wanted to get it, okay. get it level. So. And there you go. So. Oh, so. Oh, oh, so. so there's always got to be a so. Okay. So, that's my last of the fins. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have to clean up my mess here and probably use a little of my isopropyl alcohol mm -hmm. to clean off the fins where I've made a little glare. Okay. Um, and then I think we're done with this piece. All right. Next stage tomorrow. Okay. And signing off. <laughs> All right, Lynn, what you doing there now? So, I have to get the fins smoother because they look kind of rough edged. Mm -hmm. And then the peanut butter epoxy that we used, I had yeah. to smooth that out because okay. it got a little um, too thick. Mm -hmm. And so then you just rub your finger and go, okay. Oh, is it nice and you go, okay. Yeah. And you go, whoops, miss a spot. So if your fingers don't go across it well, then the hair won't go across it well either. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> so is this kind of like a C-130? Is that what they did on your C-130s when you were flying them? Did, they, no. did you sand the uh, fins? <laughs> no, no, we did not did? sand. Oh. We don't have fins on a C-130. Well, your wings or whatever you have. I don't know. We have wings. Okay. <laughs> and we have props. Yeah. The props need to be perfectly aligned. So, uh, no sanding required, so you let Lockheed do that for you, huh? Well, yeah. Do you know how many parts there are on a C-130 that are um, Harley-Davidson made? That's a very important question. Well, how many? I, I think America wants to know that answer. <laughs> well, I'll probably get it wrong, it's been a long time. <laughs> I would think zero, but... Uh... No, there's like three or four. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That Harley-Davidson makes. Harley-Davidson. It even says it on, on the, the part. part. Oh, They're yeah. all on the back end. Oh. Um, or in the gear well. well. We'll have to Google that and find out which uh, ones they are. Yeah. Well, one is a lock. Uh huh. Um, I just want to remember right now. I think there's two <laughs> locks. Two in the back. Mm -hmm. One in the very back, one in the front. Both made by Harley Davidson, and it says so on it. <laughs> you can quote me on this. Okay. I think I just did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to continue sanding, and then... Um, What's next? We're gonna paint or something? I don't know. No, we don't. We didn't. We didn't go buy paint yet. Oh, okay. We so, go buy some. All right. So but coming I soon. I think though. we need to. Oh. Put the shoot in. Yeah, we can do that. Plus, we need to put these little dudes on. The little uh, uh, rail guides. Oh, the rail guides. Yeah. Yeah, we need mm -hmm. to put them down there. Maybe we can do that today. But for now, I'm just gonna sand. Okay. Bye, people. Bye. So this part of the video is for our uh, friends and family who may not be rocket people to describe the difference between a level one and a level three rocket. Take it away, Lynn. <laughs> so here's the level one. This is my rocket. Here's uh -huh. the nose cone in the silver right now. It'll change color. And of course the red and the fins. This is Mitch's nose cone. Does anyone see a difference here? So it looks His like... nose cone is almost as big as my entire rocket. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> So yours is probably going to weigh maybe four or five pounds. This is going to weigh about you know, 60 pounds or so. <laughs> so. And this is what I get caught on camera doing is carrying this kind of <laughs> stuff around. So this one, just to leave Lynn just a second. We'll be right back. <laughs> so this nose cone goes on this rocket right here. Oops, I kind of dropped it. But uh, there it is. So... That goes in the top. It's maybe about, I don't know, 12 feet or so when it's done. So that's flying on an M motor. And Lynn is going to fly an H class H motor, motor for her level one certification. Level one certification. Hopefully it goes okay. Oh, I think it will. <laughs>
All right, so you're done sanding and uh, ready for the next step, right? I still need to put on a little more epoxy oh, okay. over the peanut butter epoxy. All right. Because there were some rough spots. Yeah, okay, so you're going to smooth that out? Yeah. All righty. And then we're ready. So, today we're going to paint my rocket. And we have to start with a flat white. This is why I'm dressed not in normal linen clothes. I have gym shorts and a t-shirt on that can be thrown away if need to be. Because who knows how I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. It could be ugly. Um, the nose cone is painted, at least partially. But you do flat white first so that you can cover it up. And then I'll do my color, which is going to be green for most of it. Um, and then yellow for part of it. What do you think? Sounds good. Bye bye. Go. <laughs> Remember a light coat, or first coat. <laughs> Are you criticizing me? <laughs> and it's oh, oops. Don't record my mess ups. <laughs> Gotta record it all. Look at that. I'm turning it white. So we're getting a white rocket so then we can paint and make a not white rocket. Uh -huh. But you have to put your primer on. Uh -huh. Looking good. Yep. All right. Okay. It's looking good. So I gotta make a message. Are we, are we recording? Yeah. Okay. So all my for all my Spartan fans out there, we're gonna do a Michigan State rocket. Mm -hmm. So I'm painting it in green. The fins will be white and the nose cone white. But then, because it's also green and white, I'm gonna put my call sign crack on there and put in yellow and put um, teeth on the nose cone Ooh. just because it's a crocodile. Okay. <laughs> All right. Continue okay. the painting. I'm not a very good painter. <laughs> well, that's your first, first try at My first attempt. painting a, a rocket. There's a technique. I've never used spray paint before. Mm. Krylon. It's pretty uh, forgiving paint. I hope so, because <laughs> I'm not doing great. <laughs> you can stop taping now. Right. <laughs> What's that? You can stop taping. I'm not taping, I'm recording. Whatever. There's, there's no tape in this machine. <laughs> So wait a minute, wait a minute, let me get, get a little scene of the rocket here, see what we're doing. Well, there's a wire coming out of it, and it's leading towards Lynn. Okay, Lynn, what you doing here? Well, so today first we um, installed the um, the parachute, the nose uh -huh. pins, uh -huh. and the rail guides. Uh -huh. And so what we're doing is testing to make sure that <laughs> the chute, the deployability mm -hmm. will work. Mm -hmm. So, I'm so, so you've got a, a motor in there. I got a, a motor in there, just yeah. a practice motor. Uh huh. And as soon as I hit these, apparently it's gonna go. Yeah, let me back up here a little and bit. I'm a little scared. <laughs> He's backing up. <laughs> okay. And I'm here. Give me a countdown. Okay. In five. <laughs> I'm so nervous. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> it looks like it worked. <laughs> So let's see, is Lynn okay? Uh, yeah. yeah, she survived. And there's the rocket, and there's the parachute, and the nose cone. Oh my god, that scared me. And there's some smoke coming out the back. Okay. okay. I, I feel better now. You alright? At least my skirt didn't fly up, and you guys can yeah. see my, my underwear. <laughs> so now we know that uh, the standard charge from a rocket motor will deploy your parachute properly. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> okay, so I have my rocket. It's the Croc. It also says MSU on it. And 
wore my Michigan State jersey today. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on the rails uh -huh. and hopefully launch this and get my certification. I'm very excited. Um, and then I'll change clothes. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I have to remove before flight. Okay, do it. <laughs> remove before flight. Oh, there's a rocket launching over there. Remove before flight. It was a dud. Okay. All right, hopefully yours isn't That's a dud. That's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can stop now. So Lynn, you have your rocket there. It looks like it already flew, and uh, was it successful? It was successful. You'll see there's dirt on it and stuff, mm -hmm. but it landed okay. I had to get a little help picking it up because it was on the other side of those trees way over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Way over there. The wind picked up because I had to wait so long. Mm -hmm. Now we do have a camera on here, a GoPro, mm. and I'm hoping that they didn't make me wait too long, so I'm hoping I can still get some video for you guys. Okay. But well. I'm very happy. I'm level one certified. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs>